What is going on guys? Greggles TV. I have my very first Galaxy Note 9 case in hand. Uh, so we'll do some testing on how it feels in my hand, how easy it is to reach that fingerprint sensor, how it matches up against the Galaxy S9 Plus. It comes from iPulse and it's like a pre-production model. So let's check it out. And here it is guys, this is the pre-production iPulse Galaxy Note 9 case. Uh, it's got a kickstand, it's a pretty heavy duty case. It also comes with this uh, film protector that goes on the top here to protect the screen from scratches, um, possibly some drops as well, but let's take a closer look at this case uh, overall without this front part on. So in your hand, just like you would expect the Galaxy Note 8 or the Galaxy Note 9, it is a big, big phone. It's for me, I don't have big hands, but it's uh, it definitely feels large. It feels like it's going to be a, a, quite a ways to reach up to the top as well. Um, the cutouts on the bottom do have flaps, so when you have these ports, you'll have the uh, uh, the headphone jack, you'll have the USB Type C, you'll have the speaker, and then you'll also have the S Pen over there, and then the buttons are covered by the case. Um, there's a great lip on this, you can probably see right there. It's a really, really good lip, but just overall feeling in your hand, um, doesn't really feel like it's gonna slip. It's a, it's a smooth kind of plastic. It's got this kickstand, so you can stand your phone up, which is nice, I like to see that. I don't think it stands up this way. Oh, not really, no. <laughs> so it, it just based off it, you know, with it, here's the, the Galaxy. S9 Plus, you can see it's pretty big difference in size. Um, just look at where the fingerprint sensor on the left here with the Galaxy Note 9 is versus where it is with the S9 Plus. It's uh, it's, it's fairly higher. It's almost like where the camera is. So reaching for it, it feels comfortable. I don't feel like I'm gonna have an issue with it. Most people will hold their phone um, about right here and I feel like it's, it's definitely comfortable. More comfortable than having to reach up here to reach it like you did on the Galaxy Note 8. So I think it's gonna feel good in your hand uh, to reach that fingerprint sensor. It is lower here, but it's so, it's, it, it just, I don't know. It, it, it's, it's small again, I think on the Note, it is small again on the Note 9, so it still has that same issue like the fingerprint sensor itself. Um, and it's fairly close to the camera. Sometimes I hit the camera and you'll probably do that maybe a little bit, but I don't think it'll be as bad on this one just because it's got that U shape at the bottom here, so it's gonna be easier to find with your finger than it is on the Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus. The other test I wanted to show you is just putting the phone in here, and you can see how much of a gap at the top there is for this phone. There's it's it's and then on the sides too, you can see there's a lot of room for this phone. I have it pushed all the way over to the left. There's a lot of room. The, the, the Note 9 is going to be a big phone, just like the Note 8 was. And so you can see the fingerprint sensor, I'd have to push it. Even pushing it all the way to the top, it still can't be seen. So it's, I, I feel like the fingerprint sensor is definitely in a really good location on the Galaxy Note 9. I can, it's definitely going to be comfortable. I'm actually excited about it. after just dealing with this case, it gives you a good indication of how you know nice it's going to feel in your hand. So I think after everything that's been you know felt with this case, just because you know, obviously this is like a pre-production model and it's obviously not final, but at the same time, uh, they're not gonna move the fingerprint sensor. They might change the design of this case a little bit, but definitely, I think one of the big things everyone might be worried about is the placement of the fingerprint sensor and I would definitely give it two thumbs up just based off this little test here. Let me know what you guys think about this case in the comments down below and also about the Galaxy Note 9 in general and I'll see you guys down the road. Peace.